Hello and welcome back to the FC Football Channel and today's match preview for the big one. It's Liverpool versus Manchester United. It's first v second and what a game this will be. Liverpool are the team in second, of course, Manchester United being top. However, a win today will put Liverpool top of the Premier League on goal difference because they've got a superior goal difference to and over Manchester United. However, it's not that simple. If Liverpool win then Manchester City has a chance to go top because if they win their game in hand, they they would overtake Liverpool and Manchester United if Liverpool win. If Manchester United win, Manchester United stays top no matter what and Manchester City has a chance to go into second. And if it's a draw, then Manchester City also have the chance to go top of the Premier League. So what we're basically saying here is no matter what happens, Liverpool can't really go top. The top position is still in other people's hands. Now, Liverpool come into this game, of course, with a few injuries. And this, their injury problems have been well documented, especially in their defence areas. Joe Gomez is out. Van Dijk is out, of course. But they're really the only two main key players and first team players that are out. John Matip has returned to training, so he will probably look like he's going to start. And then looking at Manchester United, Anthony Martial and the Man United both picked up knocks in the Burnley game. However, they are about 50-50 whether they will be able to play. And Victor Lindelof, who missed out on that Burnley game, is also a doubt whether he can start. But whatever, I don't think Lindelof should start. I think starting line will be a tricky one, and we'll get into that now, but I don't think Lindelof should start. I think it should be this. This is my team one, I should say. So, in goal, obviously, David De Gea. Back four, I'd keep it the same from the Burnley game. Being Wan-Bissaka, Maguire, Bailly and Shaw. Shaw's been so good defensively, so he deserves to keep his place. And up against Mohamed Salah, he will be key to our defence. Bailly needs to play. He seems to be able to get something on everything. I don't know how he does it. Bailly somehow blocks everything. And he will be key to try and stop these crosses against what, what is Harry Maguire's probably biggest weakness. Low crosses. Bailly will be fantastic at blocking them and just get, getting them away. And like I say, he'll put his body on the line. We saw against Aston Villa, that last minute block, that's fantastic. And that's the type of player we needed this back for if we are to win this game. wan of course, says that right back. He's our best right back up against Sadio Mane. We need a fantastic defender there. wan is exactly that. So that's my back four. In double pivot, I would go for Matic and Pogba if they are both fit. If not, if Matic is not, isn't fit, I would then go Fred. I think Fred is a better player than McTominay. And he'll, look, he'll bring a bit more dynamism into that midfield. But I think Matic and Pogba is our best two defensive midfield slash double pivot partnership we have. So if they're fit, play them. And then going to the front line is where it gets difficult for me. Who deserves to start? I think Marcus Rashford has to be on that left-hand side. I think he causes so many problems for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Historically, we remember that 2-1 win where he scored a brace. Both pretty identical goals, cutting in from that left-hand side against Trent and firing, firing them into the bottom corner. That's what Marcus Rashford has done historically against Trent. So play him up there again. Trent's not very good defensively. Rashford got pace to burn. And if Trent's going to get really far forward, Rashford will do him on the counter-attack. And that could be huge. And that's why I think Marcus Rashford will, should be on the left. And I think Paul Pogba has to be in the centre of the pitch. To be able to pay, play them long balls into Marcus Rashford. Get him running. Because that's where we are the most dangerous. Putting Rashford on the right. We get rid of that, that pace up against Trent. And if you move Pogba to the left wing. We remove one of our biggest strengths. And that ain't... Well, well, we remove one of our biggest strengths when playing on the counter attack. And that is Paul Pogba's long ball over to the width. To the flanks. To Marcus Rashford. On the right that means Anthony Martial would then go on to the right. I think Martial has to play. He's not in the great greatest goal scoring form, but his overall game has been fantastic still this season. So he deserves to be playing. And if he can't be on the left and he can't go up top, he goes in on the right. And of course, Bruno Fernandes will play just behind the striker, which is Edison Cavani. I think Cavani, especially if John Matip isn't fit to play this game, will be a big, big problem for Liverpool. His movement is second to none in the box. And can and will create space for himself to score goals. Especially if they are against Reese Williams or Jordan Henderson at centre back. They don't they won't be able to handle the amazing movement of Anderson Cavani in the box. 
So, if Martial and Rashford are on the flanks, Cavani goes up top, Bruno Fernandes is obviously behind him. Or oh, this is my second team I would play. And it's very similar. The, again, the only change I make is I put, bring Dan James in on the right and put Martial up top. I think Dan James and Marcus Rashford, they ain't creators. I think with Cavani in the box, you need creators. I don't think you have a lot of players getting balls into the box with Dan James and Marcus Rashford on the, on the flanks. Sure, will get forward. wan less so. But they're not amazing crosses of the ball. So, I think you need someone who can a bit more about them technically on the ball. And I think Martial is that. I think his Martial's pace in the break as well will be good. And I say play Dan James. I would never start Mason Green with this game. I say play Dan James because not only has he got that pace on the counter-attack when Robertson will get forward... But, as well, Robertson will, will be tracked by Dan James. Dan James will do his work defensively as well as going forward. And that, that will help us stop what will be a very, very strong left-hand side for Liverpool, Sado Mane and Robertson. Oli, I don't think he will go with that. I think he will stick with the same back four as I have. I think Bai has to play. Maybe he brings back Lindelof. I wouldn't. I think Lindelof... He needs to earn his space back and why Bailly is playing so well, he, he, he shouldn't be able to do that. Or at least over Eric Bailly, who's been probably our best centre-back this season. And then in midfield too, I think he will go with McFred. I think we've constantly seen him revert back to this double pivot of Fred and McTominay in big games. So I see no reason why he wouldn't go back to it again today. I think it limits us. I don't think it allows us to be as good as we can. If, if Pogba was in there, we'd be better. But... I, I think he will go for McFred, which means I think he'll play Paul Pogba on the left wing. Again, I said what I said before. I think that limits us. I think that makes us the worst team and removes one of our biggest strokes when playing on the counter-attack, which is Pogba's long balls. And it's it's going to be a shame to see him on the left wing if he does play there. But look, he will drop deep. He will come a bit more central. We'll lose a bit, bit of width on that left flank, which against Trent isn't a good thing. But I think he will play... Pogba on the left, which means Marcus Rashford play out on the right, up against Robertson. And I think he'll go for Cavani up top. I think Cavani, he he he's looked good. I think he, Cavani's a lot better off the bench. I have to say, I don't think Cavani's ever played really well when he started. And I, I don't know if I'm the only one to pick that up. I, I don't think he played well against Everton when he started. Uh, West Ham, he didn't really play too well. So I, I don't think he should, be, he should start this game unless... You have Martial and Rashford on the wings and Pogba deep. I don't think you can start Cavani up top in this sort of team. I don't think he offers enough. I don't think he's quick enough to play as the cent central striker in this sort of team. You need a bit more pace about it for me. I think Rashford brings the pace. Pogba doesn't. So I would start Martial if I was Oli, if, uh, if I was going to play McFred. But I think Cavani will start for Oli. Now, for a bit of fun, I've put together my combined 11. Um, I've tried to be fair. Um, and it's obviously these players. This is out of players that can play in this game against Liverpool. For, well, in this fixture. I've, if anything, I've been overly nice to Liverpool fans. Um, and that's especially clear with the first inclusion. And that is Alisson over David De Gea. I think... David De Gea is probably been a better goalkeeper this season. However, I think he's been let down by his defence a lot, whereas Alisson hasn't as much. And I think you have to be fair to Alisson. Over the last two, three years, he's been outstanding, one of the best goalkeepers in the world. So I've given Alisson his spot, but I think this season, maybe David De Gea sneaks in there. The back four, it's Liverpool, it's Trent, it's Fabinho, it's Eric Bailly, and it's Robertson. You can't really argue with that. Um, Ramasaka hasn't been at his best this season. So, Trent's been good. Yeah, Trent also hasn't been at his best, but I think Trent will just walk in there. Robertson, very close to Luke Shaw, but I've, I've gone for Robertson because, again, look, he's been one of Liverpool's best players this season, according to a lot of Liverpool fans, and he's one of the best left-backs in the world. So, you got you, I just go with Robertson. Fabinho's been fantastic at centre-back this season for Liverpool, so I've gone with him. And Eric Bailly, he's transformed this Manchester United defence, and... At the moment, on current form, he's one of the best in the Premier League in my book. So, he goes in at centre-back. They're a double pivot. I pull Pogba and Thiago. You can't complain, can you? They, them two are fantastic. And might not work as an actual team, 
But both of them together would be fantastic. And then a front line, Sadio Mane off the left, Mohamed Salah off the right, Bruno Fernandes at 10. Again, you cannot complain with that. That front three, Bruno Fernandes has to be there. Arguably, he's the best player in the Premier League right now. He's won, in the last calendar year, he won four player of the months. Mental, mental numbers Bruno Fernandes has been putting up. He has to be there. Mane, obviously, fantastic player, deserves to be there. You can maybe say Rashford, but Mane goes in there. Salah, obviously, on the right. Manchester United don't have a right winger to compare to Mohamed Salah. And I've gone for Anthony Martial up top. Call me biased. He's better than Roberto Firmino. He's not having his fantastic goal scoring season, but he's still contributing a lot. And look, he's, he's a fantastic player. And for me, he's better than Roberto Firmino. So he goes up at number nine. Anyway, about the actual game. Now, this is not going to be an easy one. Obviously, it's at Anfield. But for me, this is a win-win. No matter what happens, this is a win-win. Look, look, we've got... Anfield, they've got injuries, so that, that's, that's a straight away a chance that makes it easier than what, what it will be when we play them at Old Trafford. They've, they've, they've not got fans in the ground, meaning less of an atmosphere, so it's more an, of an even game. If if worse comes to worse, Liverpool do win this game. What we go level back, we go back level on points with them. There's, that's not a big deal. And what we draw, we stay three points above them. So it's it's not going to be terrible if we do lose. But I think there is a chance we can get something and we can win it even. Like like I said, they've got injuries. They've not got fans in the stadium. These are these are advantages to us. I think our attack on any day can win us a Premier League. And Liverpool's defence is get atable, especially if Joel Matip isn't back from his injury. So I think you've got to put some respect to Manchester United's name here and say, we have a chance in this game. As crazy as it sounds, we do have a chance in this game. Like, there is definitely no part of me that thinks, oh yeah, we're definitely 100% going to get something in this game. But there's a chance. There definitely is a chance. And I, th I think it can go either way. I really, really do. And um, because of that, I'm going to go for a one all draw as my score prediction. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in to today's match preview for the Liverpool versus Manchester United game. Please do tune in for the match watch along. That will start at four and kickoff will be at half four. And yeah, everyone, get down in the comments below what your score prediction is. Please do like, subscribe, and like I said, get your comments down below. And I'll see you all at the stream at half four in a bit. Peace.